And so as you can see by the thumbnail, I got a few boxes here. We're going to check out and see which books came in this week. You want to see them? Stick around. Welcome back, family. Timo Honey here. I'm your host, Rich. And we have a mail call slash what's in the box says. <laughs> yes, and I'll tell let you know right now, the first two boxes I already opened because I didn't know what the heck was in them. I really didn't. I knew that I had ordered two comic books from one seller on eBay. And I knew they were coming in, but I had several boxes that came in for different stuff, you know, like brake parts for my car, stuff like that. And I got it in two boxes. I didn't realize that the same one guy shipped one comic per box. You wonder why you get charged so much for shipping. Come on, there's, there's one comic in each one of these boxes. And what's really bad is this is how empty the box was. Okay, it's a third of the way filled with peanuts and then one tiny bubble wrap around a slab and plenty of room for it to go anywhere it wanted. Both boxes are like this. So very disappointed in this seller's shipping thankfully thankfully both these books arrived without a problem so neither one of these books is a key and they are uh, silver age early silver age books uh, if they were a year or two older they would have qualified for um, just <laughs> reaching and getting the other book out <laughs> I mean he could have put used the same amount of peanuts put them both into one box and um <laughs> what do you call it save save a lot of money on shipping and they would have been more secure so these are both file copies he had three books that were for sale and one went in the morning one went in the afternoon one went in the evening and i got the first two books for a steal real steal as far as i'm concerned and i really wanted that third book to finish the trifecta but i guess at that point uh, more people were paying attention and the books really the last book went uh, higher than i would have i wanted to so we have a 1961 uh dell publishing book which is 15 cents which if you think about it marvel and dc were 12 cents but dell was 15 cents and selling well this is a file copy it's a 1961 Looney Tunes book in a 9.6 9.6 off white pages now if you look at the census there are no 9.8 so this is the highest graded again it's not a key but you get a chance to get a 63 year old Looney Tunes book in a 9.6 you gotta take it <laughs> so to me this is really worthwhile got that nice Schwinn <laughs> on the back cover there And again, no nine eights. It's only it only nine nine sixes is the highest there is, and there's under ten of them. So, really cool book to have. Um, I don't necessarily get the same books that everybody does. They all look for keys. If I see something that's really old, and it catches my eye, I you know I have to have it. So, and there's another book that you're going to see in today's opening. I'll save. Hmm. I gotta figure out which one I'm gonna do for that. Uh, the other one that I got is also from 1961. It's actually from the same month. This was June 61, and this one is, is June to August of 61. So I guess they release it once every three months. This is the Dell comic album featuring Bugs Bunny. But this one is a 9.8. And again, <laughs> there's nothing graded higher. There's no 99s or 10s of this. But a 1961 comic book in a 9.8, also off-white, also file copy. But, hmm. 63-year-old 9.8s, Bugs Bunny? I don't feel I can really go wrong with that in the long run. I wish I looked uh, 9.8s in... <laughs> Uh, I'm, I'm from the 60s. <laughs>
Oh, that's right. I know what this is. This is. This is one of those ones that you don't care if it's a low grade because you just want to have it in your collection. You know, this is wrapped better. <laughs> More peanuts. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> I don't want to make a mess, so let me pause for a second. Okay. As soon as I hit pause, I drop the box. There's peanuts everywhere. <laughs> All right. So this is a 1963 book, and we're going to the opposite end of the spectrum now. This is a 1.0. <laughs> uh, creamed off-white pages. Not a file copy. <laughs> But we do have a first appearance of a character, which is good. Let's get this out of this plastic so we can show it better. There we go. Uh, let's see, we have the first appearance of the Teen Brigade and the Metal Match. How many people know what this is already? Well, this is one of the first six. And I'd love to have all six, but let's be honest, number one is extremely expensive. But, uh, and this, <laughs> it does not present well. I don't care. I still wanted to have it. It's a 1.0. It's the Incredible Hulk number six. <laughs> and we've got the Saturday morning shoe store. And my Great Dane barking in the backyard. I don't know if you can hear him or not. I know it's a unidirectional mic, but man, he's loud. So this definitely... Um, I'm actually, I'm kind of surprised I got a 1.0. I would have probably given it a 0 0.5. But it's still that old classic Hulk there on the cover. And I just, you know, I got it for a really decent price. I couldn't complain. I just wanted to have one of the six. Someday, maybe I'll have all six. I'm not going to hold my breath and count on it, but it would be nice, right? Now, anybody that has an extra copy of number one, I'm always open to AOKs. -OK not happening, I know, right? And the last one that I got here is uh, from a short box auction. They've been having auctions lately. This just came today. And I was actually very, very happy that I was able to get this book at the price that I wanted. So their auctions, some of them go for a little high in my opinion but you know it, you don't have to pay it if you don't want to and unlike uh, what not auctions the auction ends at a specific time it's not like somebody bids and they add on extra time it ends it ends and that's it so here we go this is actually my first one of this genre so to me this is a Dropbox knows how to package properly. Look at that. There we go. With painter's tape. See, professionals, professionals. I like it. Open. Unwrap, unroll, 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 unroll. I'll show you the back. It even has cardboard protectors all the way around. The futures of auctions is here. For <laughs> Short box. And it's a QC, QR code there. So I want to take a look at this real quick first. Because I've been wanting to get a book in this genre for a while. And it seems like prices for anything over a 3.0 just really get expensive. This book is from 1954. It's not one of the over-the-top covers bag. Let's take it out. That back cover looks really nice. How's the front cover look? Shock suspense stories. Yes. In a 5.5 white page. Really gorgeous. Oh, I love this book. I love in this book. I, I think I like it more than when I saw it on the website. I don't like the fact that it's off center. Like the book is all the way up against this edge and with a big gap here. I could probably. What am I? No, I don't want to do that. What if something happens? Uh, 
DC Comics. February to March 1954, you got Frank Frazetta's only solo story for EC. <laughs> yes, another reason I got this. So we have Bill Gaines and Al Feldstein stories, Jack Kamen, Wally Wood, Ray, uh, Reed Crandall, and Frank Frazetta art, and Jack Kamen did the cover on this. So that is my first ever of the pre-code horror books. Well, I do have a different one with the, the skulls, but uh, that one I bought mainly because I really like the cover. Uh, it's a really low grade, and I just thought it'd be cool to have. This one I got more for the of it. I wanted to get a book that was over a 3.0, but it seems like this 3.0 is going for $350, $400. Um, and to, and if, to be fair, I'll let you know, I think I got this for like 410 so I really really happy especially with the, all the red band uh, <laughs> uh, what do you call it oh what, what's it called the uh, the ones that are on a hot list with the decapitated Thor the homages of, this, of these uh, uh, shock and suspense stories <laughs> so if, if they did an homage of this book I'm really going to freak out <laughs> so yeah I'm now part of the club <laughs> yay so what do you think? Did I get a, little, get a little crazy there? Have a little bit of fun? Let me know. I would like to know. Uh, guys, don't forget, please click like, subscribe, click on those notifications so you know when more videos are dropping. Don't forget to go to Rob's Fast Sacks of Comics for the comics curing cancer. Don't forget to check him out at booth 1769 at Heroes Con. He's going to be there with a whole bunch of stuff and a whole lot of information where you can find out how you can make, you can buy something from him. You could uh, just flat out make a donation and 100%. You give him a dollar, it's not like 99 cents is going and he keeps a penny. He keeps zero. Okay, every penny that he's collecting is going to ca cancer research. You always dreamt of being a superhero? That's your opportunity. Guys, thank you so much. Like, subscribe, click on the notifications. Until I see you in the next video though, mahalo.